Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today. Been meaning to do this one for a little while. But um, yeah, we're doing a uh, fishtail camera wrist strap or camera strap. Kind of done in almost like a closed loop Mad Max style. Okay, so uh, the closed loop Mad Max was, um, I learned that one from Creations by S. So check out their uh, channel down below. But uh, we've just kind of modified this one so that we're using 425 cord for the core strands, as you can see here and 550 for the uh, the strap part. And the way this works is if you, uh, for like me, use a digital SLR or any sort of camera out there that has this sort of a uh, key ring retention on the side, you know, normally you would have your neck strap around this. If you want to switch this over to a wrist strap, um, this is what this is for, okay? So you see how we got the closed loop here? Just to give you a quick demo. We're gonna take that loop. We're gonna pass it through. A little key ring here, or the split ring, and then pull it forward like that and there you go so now this is an adjustable wrist strap so it'll fit you know your wrist or any other size wrist and it works very nicely very very secure that's not gonna come off your wrist and uh, yeah nice way to carry your expensive camera all right so that's what we're doing today um, remember to check out those affiliate links down below where you get paracord and all the great stuff using this video and also guys if you like what i do feel free to check me out on patreon and support me there a lot of great rewards as well all right so that being said let's get into okay so to start off this uh fishtail mad max camera strap or wrist strap we're gonna start off with our core strand and our core strand is gonna be separate as i mentioned before it's a 425 paracord and the main weaving cords will be 550. so the way we're going to start this one out is very similar to the uh closed loop mad max so I've got my length of paracord here, and you're going to take your two ends of the paracord, you've got this end doubled over, and you're gonna put these right through here. And you're gonna give yourself, um, I'd say maybe five inches or so. You can kind of eyeball it, about that much. Let's double check that actually. Yeah, about four inches, let's do five. Okay, about five inches. And you can always kind of adjust this as you go. Then now we're gonna bend those uh, strands to the front, like so. And we're gonna tie a couple of the uh, Solomon knots or Cobra knots. Okay, so right strand over the core like that, left on top of that, and then right strand through the other side. And pull that shut. You won't be able to pull this too tight yet. Okay, so that's one knot, and let's go again. This time left strand over to the other side, like so. Now the second one, we can pull a bit tighter, and also you can kind of pull down on these strands here. See, like that. Get that nice and tight. Make sure you can still move these strands. Okay, so that's two knots. I think a good four knots will be enough. Okay. That's one more. Let's do the last one. All right, there we go. So that is the first part. And make sure these strands are not crossed over. Make sure they're not like tangled like this. Make sure they're nice and even. So this part will be our uh, wrist strap here. And this part will be, you know, the part that attaches to the camera. All right, so now that we got our core set up, uh, you can sip and singe these extra excess pieces if you want, but you don't have to you can do that later. So now, um, if you look at this length here, this will be the length that attaches to your camera. And then this length will be obviously the wrist, uh, wrist strap part. Okay, so you'll have to kind of estimate um, the exact you know, length you'll need. Of course, you can um, you know, adjust this as you go. All right, so now we're gonna grab our 550 paracord. I've got it doubled over. And I'm going to put the 550 behind the two uh, 425 core strands, like so. And then we're going to start doing the fishtail in a slightly modified way. It's very easy. So you can take the left strand and you're going to go over and under and bring it to the other side, like so. So now we have both strands on the right side. Then you're going to take the right strand on top, bring it back, go over and under 
to the other side and bring it back again over and under like so okay and now if I kind of just straighten this up a bit and push it up you can see we're starting to form our fishtail like that right so now again now that I'm back to this side take the strand on top go over and under and bring it back to the other side over and under okay and then straighten it up push it up keep it nice and tight like so okay so again right side over and under back to the left um, from left back to right over under bring that through and with each set of knots keep that uh, fishtail nice and tight push it up and pull all the excess out okay so that's the pattern and you're just going to keep doing this until you've uh, tied or woven enough of a uh, the proper size to match your um, you know your wrist size or as big as you want the strap to be okay so just keep doing that and go all the way around and then we will uh, finish it off All right, so I've woven the entire length of my bracelet here, and I just kind of adjusted it as I went. I checked it on my wrist. So now uh, we're at the very end. We need to lock this off so it's uh, you know doesn't come undone. And we're going to do that by taking the strand on top. You're going to bring it back to the other side as you did before. Go over and under, like so. But now, rather than go back the other way, we're going to tie two Solomon knots. Okay, so take the strand on the right, put it over the core, left over top of that. And right through that loop okay and carefully close this up with that little tug okay that's one and just to make it a little more symmetrical looking with my second one so it's nice and secure and there you go okay so I tied the two Solomon knots and we're done basically so we just got to snip and singe off this excess that'll be nice and secure and then earlier this excess as well snip and singe off that and then we'll be finished Okay, and there we have it. We are finished. So just to give you one last demo again on how to use it. Super simple when you have the little key ring on the side of your uh, your camera here. You're going to feed the top loop through, through the top like so. And then you're just going to take that whole bracelet or camera strap, wrist strap, and then feed it through. And then we have a nice little kind of like cow's hitch here. And there you go. Your camera strap is now wrist strap is now on your camera and it is nice and secure for when you are carrying around your camera this one turned out really nice and i think it'll work just fine all right so guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any comments or questions please leave them down below also remember if you're looking for where to get paracord and all those good stuff uh, check out my affiliate links down below and also uh don't forget to check me out on patreon if you want to support me there guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video